Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Georgi Matviev and today we're gonna be looking at the song Temple of Time from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I almost said Majora's Mask. We're gonna be doing things a little bit different here. I'm gonna be going a little bit more, where's my pick? I'm gonna be going a little bit more off the cuff. Not really prepared for this. It was just sort of an idea I had, but I thought it would be fun to just take the first section of this piece and kind of go through my process of how I'd reharm this. Similar to how I did my video Holiday by Green Day, jazz reharm sort of thing, where I just changed the chords to like seven chords. Doing something like that here, but basically adding harmony to the melody of it. We'll see how it goes. I'm not too certain it's gonna go well. Let's play the song real quick, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing this off the cuff, so we'll see how well it goes. That's the piece. If you've played any of the Zelda games, you probably played Ocarina of Time. If you played Ocarina of Time, you've heard that. Um, right away, looking at it, a minor, we're probably, it's like a, starts with this A right here. So we're probably in A minor. I'm not too worried about the key. I'm gonna start this off over here, just so I can kind of have some room to move around. Basically, I'm gonna look for some kind of, some kind of chord with A on like the melody note. We're gonna do an F major seven. Yeah. And then from here, we have to play a D. And if we stay on the same string, we can go there, or we can go here. But if we play this one, it's hard to like put together like a fun big chord if it's on the, uh, the D is on the fourth string. So we want to keep the D on the higher register. So I'm thinking F major seven to like a G minor seven. So that right away, you know, Maybe like, oh, are we an F? We're an F, maybe? Oh, is that the two? Is G minor seven the two in F? It is. And then what's the next note? It's uh, F, so we go. So we're gonna reach for that one. Do we play a chord here? Or do we just kind of, um, uh, let's throw a chord in there. Let's, let's just, let's just get, let's get crazy with this. We could do, D minor seven. D minor seven would be the six in F, if that's what key we're doing this in. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, E minor seven. Oh yeah, because it's B, it wouldn't work in F. But we're gonna do it anyways. It doesn't have to make sense, so we're gonna do an E minor seven here. And we're also gonna do one here. Because, just because. under 10 minutes, cool. It'll be shorter, I'm gonna chop this up. Part of me wants to just dive deeper into it, just really, let's, let's really fuck this thing up. Let's throw in some really crazy chords. Let's try to modulate, let's, let's add in chords, but we're probably gonna play it safe. I'm probably, definitely, maybe, hopefully, going to do a video solely on that, do the whole entire song, and maybe spice it up hardcore, but yeah, that was cool. It's a good practice routine too. Practice, just just practice whatever. It's just, it's just a good, good thing to practice. Mm -hmm. 
that might be a little bit of a smoother way to end it instead of going like um, very almost like staccato, like boom, 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 doing like a. Okay, yeah. Okay, now that I have that down, let's sort of really break it down if I haven't already. So starting on like an F major seven, moving down to a G minor seven from the, yeah. D minor seven, back to F, G, back to D, and then right there we're just like playing D, and then we play like the A on this, the first string, and then we'll play that C natural, and then from here, like an E minor seven from the 12th fret. An E minor 7 from the 7th fret because the high note in, off the 12th fret is B and then the high note from the 7th fret is G so we need the melody to go and so oh wait actually hold on I'm, 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 I'm overthinking it now I, I'm sort of processing it let's make it a little bit more smoother we're doing less chords which is what the opposite of what I wanted we have that G right there. So instead of doing this, we can just do... I th feel like we're smoothing things out a little bit here. Okay, I got this. Final version. That was it. Woo! Sweet. We did it. We did it. Or I did it. I did it. You guys watched. Thank you for watching. This turned out better than I expected as, as the end, end result. I didn't know how well I was going to be able to kind of figure out what to do with the melody. I thought that sounded sick. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys did. And if you guys did enjoy that, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and stay up to date for future videos. Until then, I will see you next time. Thank you.